Okay, hi everybody. Uh, welcome to today's video. We are going to be looking at three different things today. We're going to be looking at table A, table B, <laughs> how many fingers are working, and table C. Okay, so the first two are lists of multiples. And you're going to want to start with table A, especially if you don't have one at home right now. And this is pretty self-explanatory. This is just writing down your math facts. So all of our answers here are going to be multiples. So we would do 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 6 is 12, and all the way down. And you'll go all the way down until you get to the bottom here. And then you'll move on to the threes. But do you see how I'm writing small and right? Like it's all my answers right after the equal sign. You don't want to write too big and have it get out of order, and then you have an answer in the wrong place. So what you would do is you would just keep going until you finished up the whole thing. All right, so that is what table A is, all right? And the highest answer you're going to get, and the highest answer you're gonna get is 50. If you get any higher than 50, something is amiss. You need to go back and look. Now let's take a look at table B. Table B is just a continuation of table A. So if we look at table A, table A ended with 2 times 25, which was 50. Well, table B starts with 2 times 26, which is just two, is just two more than this one here. So if 2 times 25 is 50, 2 times 26, well, we would just add one more 2 to 50, and that would be 52. This is going to be the same thing with your threes. So the last three here was three times 16, which was 48. So three times 16 is 48. Three times 17 is we're just gonna add another three to 48, which would be 51, okay? And then you would just keep going that way. So having your filled in table A up here is gonna really help you, just like if we did the tens real quick. 50. Last one here was 10 times 5. Well, on table B, the first one's 10 times 6. So if 10 times 5 is 50, we just need to add another 10 to it, and we would get 10 times 6, like that. Okay? So that's table A and table B. Now, let's take a look at table C. Now, you can't start table C until you have a completed and correct, it's very important, completed and correct table A and table B. Okay, so table C has two pages. This page is, the first page is one through 50. So one through 50 uses table A, okay? The second page is 51 through 100. This uses table B, okay? Now, let's see how we do this. So we're gonna start with sides one through 50. And we wanna list, remember, here's the word factors. Do you remember how we already kind of talked about the word factors, right? And our factors with the pegboard lesson? Well, this here is going to be a list of factors. So let's start by looking at number one. I wanna know all the ways to make one using multiplication. So what times what gives us one? One times one. Is there any other way? We can't do one times zero, because that'll give us zero. And one times two is two. So no, this is the only way. And since this is the only way, I'm gonna take my red colored pencil and I'm gonna circle this one. Okay, I'm gonna keep my red pencil there. Now. Let's think about all the ways to make two. Well, we can come back over here to our table A and we can look for the answer of two. 
So there's an answer, two times one. All right. Let's see, then it goes on to four. Mm, four is bigger than two, so we know that's not it. Three times one is three, but then it goes on to six. So we're not gonna get a two answer in the threes. So this is, this is the only way. All right, let's circle that. Now let's move on to three. Three, let's look for three as an answer over here. So two, four, six, and well, three would fall here, right? Let's go here, well, three times one, that's cool. All right, three, six, this starts at four, and we know that four is, le or four is more than, than three, so there's not gonna be any threes here and five. So this is the only way, this is the only three. So I'm gonna circle this the red pencil, okay? Now, four, well, here's the answer of four. Two times two, okay, there's no fours here. Oh, here's an answer of four. Four times one, and the, the lowest number here is five, so we're not gonna find any fours in here. So look, this one has two ways. We can do two times two and four times one. Well, that's pretty cool. We're not gonna circle it. There's more than one way. Five. So two, four, six, so no fives there. Three, six, nine, no fives there. Four, eight, 12, there's no fives there. Five, ooh, here's five. Five times one. All right. Five, 10, 15, no more fives. Six, well, six is the lowest number here and five is lower than six, so we know we're not gonna find any fives here. So five, this is the only way, the only way that we can do it. Okay, now let's go on to six. Two, four, six, ooh, two times three. Three, six, okay. Well, there's three times two. We already did two times three. Okay, so here's my question. Is two times three and three times two the same thing. Let's take a look, I have them written down here. Two times three, what does that equal? We need three two, so two, four, six. Six, that gives us the answer of six. And then for three times two, we need two threes. Three, so one, two, three, four, five, six. It equals six two. So these are actually the same thing. So since they're the same thing, I'm just gonna write one of them. I'm only gonna write one, okay? So six, four, eight, five, ten. Ah, there is six. Six times one. Cool. Okay. So there's more than one way there, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm not gonna circle it. We're gonna leave it alone. Let's go on to seven. Two, four, six, eight, no, three, six, nine, no, four. Eight, no. Five, ten, no. Six, twelve, no. Seven, oh, seven times one. And then the lowest answer here is eight, and we know that seven's smaller than eight. And in all these, seven would have come here. It's between five and ten, here it's between four and eight, here it's between six and nine, and here it's between six and eight. So we know that they're not there. So there's only one way. We're gonna go up to 10, all right? So we're almost done with this portion of the lesson. You'll obviously keep going, but you know, that's fine. So eight, two, four, six, eight, Ooh, two times four. Three, six, nine, well, eight would have been there. Four, eight, four times two. Well, is four times two and two times four the same thing? Yeah, both, it gives us the same answer. It uses the same uh, factors here. So we're gonna go ahead and just write only one of them. <clears throat> five, 10, well, eight would be there. Six, 12, eight would be there. Seven, 14, eight would be there. One, eight times one. Oh, there we go, there's an eight. So eight times one. <coughs> Excuse me. So, there's two ways there, so we're not going to circle it in red. Now let's check out nine. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Well, nine would be here, wouldn't it? Three, six, nine. Oh, there's one. Three times three. 
Uh, hmm. Oh, let's see. Four, eight, twelve. That that would be there. Nine would be there. Five, ten. That would be there. Six, twelve. No. Seven, fourteen. No. Eight, sixteen. No. Nine. Oh, here we go. Nine times one equals nine. All right, so there's more than one way there, so I'm not going to circle it. Okay, the last one that we're going to do just here together is 10. So let's find the answers of 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So 2 times 5. All right. 3, 6, 9, 12. No. 4, 8, 12. No. 5, 10. Well, 2 times 5 and 5 times 2 is the same thing, remember? So I'm only just going to keep that one that I already wrote down. 6, 12, 7, 14, 8, 16, 9, 18, 10. There's a 10. 10 times 1. All right. So let's take a look at a couple things here, okay? Every single one of these has a times 1, doesn't it? 1 times 1, 1 times 2, two 3 times 1, 4 times 1, 5 times 1, 6 times 1, 7 times 1, 8 times 1, 9 times 1, 10 times 1. Every single one of these, we can make every single number in the entire world if we multiply it itself by 1. So 35, we can get 35 by going 35 times 1. I'm going to write that. Just like we could get 39 times 1. Okay, but if a number can only be made by multiplying itself by one, so the only way to make three is to multiply three by one, to multiply itself by one, we would circle them in red. Numbers like that, numbers that can only be made by multiplying itself by one, oops, wrong side of my marker, are called prime numbers okay now we started here there's quite a bit of prime numbers there isn't there there's one two three four five just between this little space and let me tell you there's only going to be one two three four five more down the rest of this side in the beginning we start out with a lot in a row just because they're such small numbers but as we go they become fewer and fewer all right so um, if you're going to use red, I recommend don't write too hard with your red pen. Or if you make a mistake, use a little white out. I'm a big fan of white out. And you can just white it out and write the number again, and then it won't be circled in red. So this is a big work. This work can take a lot of time. Okay, and if you finish this work and it's all correct, I will, ha and same thing with your A and Bs, if you don't already have them at school, I will happily laminate them for you. Okay, because they're such big work, especially table C, I always like to laminate it and you get to take it with you wh to whatever class you go. So if you move from lower L to upper L, you get to have it in there too, so you don't have to redo it. Okay, so that's our lesson um, on table A, B, and C. Take your time, remember, you can't do table uh, C if you don't have a table A and a table B finished. So make sure you get those finished and correct first. If you do a table C and you want me to check it for you, feel free to take a picture of it and send it to me. And I will happily check it for you and let you know the numbers where you're missing something or if something has a goof up. All right. Okay, guys. Thanks. I hope you're doing well. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, bye.